Now presenting ASTM D2434, Standard Test for Constant Head Permeability of Granular Soils, presented by the University of Arkansas. For this test, you will need sand or gravel for testing, a permeameter, two porous stones, a bucket to catch outflow from the test, a beaker to measure outflow, a stopwatch to record the time of the test, and calipers. First, obtain a bowl of granular soil that you wish to test and weigh it. Next, use the calipers to measure the height of the porous stones. Ensure that all valves are closed before proceeding with this test. Position one porous stone at the base of the chamber. Since we desire to test lightly compacted sands, we began with water in the chamber. Using a funnel, the sand was then poured into the lower chamber using a circular motion to fill at a uniform depth. Only enough sand was added so that the water did not spill over. In between each lift, we allowed the water to drain from the sample. Two more lifts of sand were added at this time to fill the chamber. If testing soils other than loosely compacted sands, at this time one would use standard compaction techniques to add lifts. Carefully level the surface of the specimen and insert the porous stone. Measure and record the air height of the permeameter. Place the compression spring on the porous stone. Replace the chamber cap and sealing gasket, securing it firmly with cap nuts. The spring will restrict upward sample movement. At this time, we began to set up the constant head permeability apparatus which was mounted on the wall in our laboratory. The level of water flow must be adjusted so that a constant water level is maintained in the reservoir. The flexible tubes are connected to the tail of the funnel from the bottom of the outlet for the permeameter. The valves at this time are opened. Record the distance between manometer valves. Open the bottom outlet valve and allow water to flow into the permeameter. As soon as water begins to flow out of the top de-airing valve, close the control valve letting the water flow out through the outlet for a period of time. At steady state conditions, measure the time taken to have the specified volume of water flow out into the beaker. Use a stopwatch to record the time of the test. It's best if this is done by one person in a uniform motion. Find the mass of the outflow and use the density to calculate the volume. During the test, the head difference should also be recorded. At the test temperature, the soil's coefficient of permeability is available using this modified Darcy's equation. Values are usually in centimeters per second or feet per second. 